Hi everybody, how's it going today? Thanks for watching another video. I'm in our uh, calf barn here this morning, just looking at the, the calves and the pens, see if they need to be bedded down or if we need to do any work in here. So our calves are in this barn from uh, about a day or two old to uh, three to four weeks. And then they go outside into a hutch uh, I've showed you guys this barn before just uh, walk this barn typically every morning and uh, checking on wh which ones need to be bedded uh, for the day trying to get some work lined up for the the calf feeders once they get done feeding calves I had uh, one of you guys commented in the last video here if I could put a little bit of a description of our farm thought I could introduce myself uh, quickly here my name's Pete Van Badaf. I'm a dairy farmer in North Dakota. I'm on the farm here uh, together with my mom and dad. Family uh, owned and operated dairy farm. We have uh, 25 employees that work with us here on the farm to take care of the cows. We're uh, milking 1600 cows or around 1600 pretty uh, consistently. And we're raising all of our calves and heifers on the farm. All of our heifer calves that is. So we're uh, we have around uh, 3,000 total calves, heifers and cows on our farm that we take care of every day. And our uh, main goal always is uh, to have the, the most comfortable, uh, consistent environment for the cows and the calves. Make sure that, they're, uh, that they have the nutritional needs that they need and that they have a, a good, clean, dry environment to uh, lay down in and live in and uh, in turn that uh, provides us with high quality milk uh, you take care of the cows they take care of you so um, this is where it starts with the calves i guess i had a i had a question for some of the dairy farmers that uh, watch the page if any of you would be willing to share with me we we currently feed milk twice a day to our calves uh, start at two liters and at a week old they go up to three liters twice a day and then we'll at uh 45 ish or at 35 days we'll like down back down to two liters twice a day and then down to uh one liter at 45 days and then they're weaned at 60 days my question is if uh any of you are feeding uh, four liters twice a day i know that's not uh out of the normal at there's plenty of people that are feeding even more milk than that just curious what your experience is uh, I'd like to try it here or the plan is to uh, start trying that here going into winter we uh, the, the way we currently do it now is we pasteurize our whole milk and they get uh, just whole milk for the first two weeks and then after about two to three weeks of age they get pasteurized milk mixed with a milk balancer basically a milk replacer and then water also and we are doing that to give them a little bit more uh, protein and fat once they get up you know at that two three weeks of age to uh that they can grow a little bit quicker i guess uh that's worked really well for us and the way we do it now is uh they're mixing a 50 pound bag every batch or every morning and afternoon they're making milk and we adjust uh, liters needed with uh, the pasteurized milk so that makes it really easy for the guys we start feeding uh, four liters then we need to mix a little bit more powder so then we have to weigh the powder so it's gonna be a little bit more work and a little more chance for error I guess so we'll have to uh, watch that pretty carefully and of course it's always important to get the, the uh, powder mixed good this calf opened up her gate here sometimes we tighten these up because they They'll lick them open. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna try feeding four liters twice a day here. Uh, hope, hoping to start that here this week still. But it'll be a little bit of a learning curve for everybody because they'll have to start weighing out the milk replacer instead of just taking a 50 pound bag every day. Or every, every time they mix milk, I guess. Calves seem to be doing pretty good. It's been, uh, Weather's been kind of up and down here the last few weeks. We go from uh, warm to cold to warm. And that typically is not good for cows or calves. But they've been uh, 
They've been doing pretty good in this barn. Happy with how they look. Nice brown Swiss here. So I'm in the little milk mixing room where we store the colostrum and the milk replacer for the calves here. So we usually just take one 50 pound bag and mix it in the milk taxi. Now we're gonna have to weigh it. Uh, we'll probably take a 50 pound bag and then scale the, the last 20 pounds every time. I think that'll be the easiest. So we have, in this room here, we also uh, fill the, the water. So we feed calves water twice a day also. In the winter time, they'll get warm water. We have, this is kind of central. It's connected to uh, where our calf barn is, where I just came out of. And then our hutches are just outside to the left here also. So we're, we're close to all the calves here. So we uh, mix the, the milk is loaded up front by the parlor and pasteurized up there. Then they bring it back here feed it uh, to the calves up until uh, there, there's about 50 liters left and then they'll come and mix the milk powder in here and then go back and feed the rest of the calves. We're, uh, we're also moving some heifers today in the pens and uh, Carlos and a friend are going to be moving dry cows from our far off dry cow pen after lunch to our uh, calving barn. We'll see if I can uh, catch up with them right after lunch. They'll be vaccinating those cows and uh, Moving them, uh, we move them through the milking barns uh, to our calving barn because it's kind of on the other end of the farm. So we'll see if we can get some footage of that. Just in our uh, heifer barn here, there's uh, one pen of what we call our uh, far off dry cows, our far off dry cow pen. So these would be cows that are uh, roughly 21 days to 55 ish, 50, 55 ish days, depending on the cows away from calving. So at about uh, three weeks away from calving, they move from here to our calving barn. And then uh, similar with our heifers, we move them to our calving barn about a month or four weeks away from calving. So uh, a friend and Carlos are down there. They just went through and uh, sorted all the cows that they needed and got them moved into the self lockers here. So the way that these work, normally these move freely, but now with a moving a lever in the center. When a cow puts her head in there, she can't get out. And we're doing that because uh, the heifers and the cows, they uh, each need two vaccines. And we'll give that, we'll uh, catch them here and give them the vaccines. And then we'll uh, move them all together to the calving barn. And we have to move them uh, through the heifer barn here, out the north side, through our milking barns, and then to the calving barn. I'll, uh, if I have time, I'll uh, film some of that. So they're going through now in the front, checking all the numbers and uh, painting their head pink. And then they know which ones they uh, need to give vaccines and which ones need to be moved. They, uh, they preferred not to be filmed up close and I'll, uh, I'll try not to do that. I'll try not to film them too close. And that's, that's fine. Not everybody wants to be on camera and I, uh, I have to respect that and I'll uh, definitely will do that so that there um, I saw there's a couple still in the pen that have pink on their tail so I'm not sure if they mark them by mistake or they if they still have to catch those but I'll ask them here once they come by I'm in the milking barns here so those cows will cross through here down behind the holding area where the parlor is and then take a right down to our calving barn I just got these uh, these gates closed up here because they'll come through this little alley here outside from the heifer barn to the milking barn and we'll move those heifers out of the way there so that the cows can come through got the feed moved out of the way and they'll come down this alley here beside this little pet shack Now I'm on the other side of that vet shack there, that vet room. They're gonna move the all the cows they don't need that are walking around loose to the other side, do the other manure alley here on the other side. And then they'll start letting the ones we need loose from the far end and bring them this way. I don't know if I mentioned it when I uh, walked into the barn here, but we do this every Thursday. So every Thursday we're moving cows and heifers from our far off dry cow pen to our calving pen. And then uh, tomorrow morning, every Friday morning, we're moving more cows that are uh, going dry. So cows that are 
not going to be milking anymore. They go from our milking barns into this pen here. And then uh, depending on how many heifers or how much space we have in this pen, then we'll move heifers in there too, new heifers. Uh, we typically do that every two weeks, kind of depends on how much room we have in this far off dry cow pen. So tomorrow morning, they've got a list of cows already. So it's uh, pretty similar at the amount of cows that are going from this pen to the close up pen. There's a similar amount of cows that will be uh, going dry tomorrow morning and they'll be moved into this barn. Here come the cows. That's a heifer right there. coming across from our milking barns into our calving barn here. I missed them going behind the parlor along the side of the barn. Our bobcat dealer was here. But we'll uh, We'll move them into whichever side of the barn is lower. It doesn't necessarily have to be one or the other. Looks to me like this side is lower. So I'll probably move all or the majority of them on that side. So we, we move them into this barn for a couple of reasons. They, uh, we like them to calve on straw. That's uh, more comfortable for the cows. Uh, they're a little bit more relaxed that way. And they can uh, have a calf wherever they want. So if they want to be in the corner of the pen or where next to the other cows, or they, sometimes they try to get away from the, the rest of the herd. And the straw is, uh, allows them to do that. And it's in the winter time, it's uh, a little bit warmer for them rather than in the, in the free stalls or just a small pen with a little bit of straw. This is deep bedded straw. But they also get different feed in this pen. So this uh, ration here, this is specific for cows and heifers that are close to calving. It's, uh, it's got quite a bit of uh, vitamins and minerals in it, uh, pretty much getting them ready for milk production, I guess. And they don't need all of this yet in the far off dry cow pen, so it's, it's a little bit more efficient, a little bit more effective uh, getting them the right ration over there versus over here. And we want them to be in this barn for at least three weeks. So it uh, gives them time to uh, take in some of those nutrients and get, let their bodies get prepared for, for calving and for milk production. So it looks like they are going to move them to this side here. They're just closing the door and then they can swing open a couple gates over there. They have, they'll first walk through the pen just to check to make sure there aren't any uh, cows calving, that these ha cows don't come in and run over the calves because they usually get pretty excited. To, uh, going to a new pen, especially since it's a straw pen. They're not used to that. So they're all in that uh, small pen up there. Let them get a little bit uh, settled down here before they go into the big pen. One girl that wants to come to the other side, it looks like. Oh, 
Oh, they're gonna split them half and half. They're counting them, I see. Been a while since I've been in this barn, so this is uh, the barn where all of our cows and heifers are calving. Uh, somebody usually walks through these pens about every 30 minutes or so to check for calvings. And once a cow does have a calf, then the cow will move over to the uh, milking barns and the calf will go into our calf barn. And then uh, we'll, uh, we'll milk the cows, colostrum, check the colostrum quality, and we only save the high quality colostrum and we'll freeze it. And then anytime a calf is born, they'll put uh, four liters of uh, colostrum in the colostrum on thawing machine. And that colostrum will be fed to the calf within an hour of birth. And that way we know that that calf got four liters of high quality colostrum. She'll also get uh, vaccinated at that point and tagged. It's a heifer calf, she'll get one of our tags. If it's a, a beef cross calf, they'll get just a, whichever calf in the series of uh, of uh, numbers that we're in. They're just, they go up to 50 and then we start over and then those calves are sold after, uh, after about a week or within a week, I guess, of birth. And they're raised on two other farms, uh, not too far from us. This is how our, our cows go from our uh, far off dry cow pen to our calving pen. It uh, doesn't take too long, just uh, sorting them out a few vaccines and then uh, getting them moved over here. And then they can get settled in here for the next uh, three, to, three to four weeks before they have their calf. And then get ready for uh, milk production, I guess. And uh, yeah, the, ho the hope is that uh, with this uh, ration here that's uh, designed for these cows specifically that they'll have a good transition into uh, milk production that we have none or limited issues and they uh, yeah, they go right into uh, producing high quality milk come back by the far off dry cow pen so this pen's looking pretty empty now we just moved uh, around 40 cows and heifers uh, Typically it's around uh, 40, can vary a little bit uh, depending on if it's a heavier calving uh, month or week compared to normal, but around 40 is pretty normal for us. So this will get filled up again tomorrow morning and then uh, we'll do it again next week. I think we'll end this video here. I appreciate you guys watching and if you have any questions or comments, don't be afraid to put them down below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next video.